and let us see what is there in this question. It's a very important question. In the nuclear reaction, X plus Y gives Z plus W involves the nucleide X, Y, Z, W. Energy is released. Now, this is a very important piece of information for us. Energy is released in this. And Q is uh, the heat energy I have written. So don't get confused. It's not charge. Please be careful. Now, uh, you have to comment about the masses and the binding energy. So my dear student, as we already know this thing, that a nuclear reaction will take place if uh, the binding energy is more in the case of um, Z and uh, W because heat energy is released. Energy is released. It means that more energy is released while the creation of Z and W is taking place. Binding energy overall, let me explain you this thing. Binding energy is explained in two manners. The first definition tells you what is the total amount of energy, re energy required to break the X nuclide. So this nucleus has to be broken and all like what is the total energy that is that is required to be given to X. So energy required given to X is binding energy for X. Energy required by Y will be binding energy for Y. But in the case of Z and Y, we are not breaking them. Instead, we are creating them. So binding energy is defined in the second manner. What is the second definition? Binding energy is the amount of energy released when a nucleus is created. So <clears throat> binding energy of Z means the energy which is released while Z was coming into formation. Binding energy released when W was coming into formation. So this energy which was released while Z and W were created, it should be more than the energy required by X and Y to break themselves. And that is why only overall net energy is released, isn't it? So we can clearly jump to one conclusion that the binding energy for Z and W will be more than that of X and Y. So answer will be either A and C that we are sure about this thing now. So binding energy is more for Z and W and binding energy is lesser for X and Y because energy is getting released. Now, if the energy is more, like more energy is released from where it is coming, it is coming from the mass defect. It means that the mass of X plus Y should be more than the mass of Z plus W because that mass is now converted into energy and because of that only more energy is released so the binding energy of z and w is more why is it more because uh, the mass is converted into energy it means that the mass of x and y should be greater than the mass of z and w c will be the correct answer so mass is more for x and y binding energy is more for z and w so answer will be c I think I have explained it in a good manner. So if you uh, people uh, have any doubt left in this question, please mention that in the comment section. I would be readily uh, uh, messaging you in uh, there. So that should not be a problem. Let us uh, verify our answer from the mark scheme. So my answer is C. And let's see what is given in the mark scheme. Okay, the answer is hiding somewhere now. I refuse to move. Okay, the answer is C. We can see it, isn't it? Yes. So, yes, absolutely. So, we are uh, absolutely correct. So, the answer is C. This is how we do this. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also please join the YouTube channel if you want to access all the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.